Do you ever feel confident right after learning something new, only to forget it all a few days later? You're not alone, but we can help you to understand how you can prevent this using space retrieval. Let's break it down. Space retrieval is a powerful study technique where you practice recalling information after a delay, not just right after you've learned it. When you learn something new, the information is stored in your brain, a bit like placing a book in a library. Your hippocampus, a part of the brain involved in forming and retrieving memories, acts like a librarian. Every time you recall a piece of information, you strengthen the neural pathway between the memory and the hippocampus, like helping the librarian find that book faster next time. This process of retrieving and restoring the information boosts long-term memory. The more often you space out and practice recalling something, the easier it becomes to remember because your brain is literally rewiring itself to make that memory stick. Remembering isn't easy because our brains naturally let go of information over time. Unless we revisit it, we forget according to the forgetting curve. When you learn something new, you start forgetting it almost immediately. But if you try to remember it again, especially after you've started to forget, you interrupt the forgetting and the memory lasts longer. Do it a few times and your brain strengthens the synaptic connections between neurons, making them harder to forget and moving it into long-term memory. Think of it like lifting weights. The first time is hard, but every rep makes your muscles stronger. Space retrieval is like doing memory reps for your brain. For example, you meet a new classmate on Monday, Ravi. On Tuesday, you try to remember his name. Then again on Thursday. Each time you succeed, your memory of his name sticks a little better. That's space retrieval in action. Another example, you're preparing for a year 12 exam in November. Instead of cramming in October, you quiz yourself on previous topics each week throughout the year using practice questions. By revisiting topics over time, you're more confident and forget less by exam day. So how do you do space retrieval well? There are a few tips that make space retrieval work even better. One, use spaced intervals and increase the intervals as you get better at retrieving the info. Start by reviewing after one day, then two, then four. Each time you recall the info, the memory gets stronger. The better you can remember something, the more you should increase the interval of time before you test yourself again. Two, don't just reread your notes. Make your revision active. When you study, don't just reread. Test yourself in different ways, such as quizzing yourself, answering questions, covering up your notes and rewriting what you remember, or use flashcards or cue cards. Make sure to also use a mix of more difficult questions or tasks. This will help you to actively retrieve the information from memory, making the memory stronger. Three, use tools to help you space things out, like apps that help you create flashcards, or using Edrollo's new feature, which delivers you regular questions based on what you've previously studied. So give space retrieval a go, because forgetting is natural, but retrieving over time is powerful.